Welcome to the Moment with the Prophets. Today, I want to speak to you about planning. What is a plan? A plan is an outline, a blueprint, a sketch of what you want to do or where you want to go. There is a saying that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I always say decide to decide, plan to plan. Now, in Luke chapter 14, verse 28 to 30, Jesus gives a story and Jesus says that which of you intending to build a tower does not first sit down and count the cost to know whether he's got what it takes to build a tower. He says, at least you, you don't do that. What is going to happen is that you are going to be ridiculed after you have laid the foundation. Now, in this story, Jesus makes two things paramount. Number one, he says, which of you intending to build a tower? One. Two, he says, does not sit down to count the cost. In other words, in planning, you need to know what you want to do. Like this one, building a tower, setting up a business, um, building a family, reading a new book, getting an extra source of income, or, or building um, a, a house or getting a mortgage. Whatever it is that you seek to achieve and accomplish in life, you need to be specific as to what you want. That is the first thing. Number two, he says, does not sit down to count the cost, which also goes on to tell us that after identifying what you want, you need to sit down and plan to know how to get it. Now, after you've set the plan to know how to get it, it's like me saying, I'm sitting down here, I want to go to America. I cannot move myself from where I am to America without planning, am I going by, 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 by the ocean, am I going by air, or how am I going to get to America? You know, so I want to go to America. Now I set the plan. Number three, you need to make pragmatic steps in achieving that thing. You need to be specific as to what you want. Number one, two, set out a plan as to how to get what you want. Number three, you need to make pragmatic steps in achieving what you want. Some people, they just have a plan. The plan just stays on the laptop and it becomes um, a dream, a fantasy. It doesn't end up materializing. I pray that God will give you the grace, the wisdom, every resource that you need to make that dream you have on your head, you are able to put it on paper and also get the grace to be able to put that thing, that plan you have on paper into action. May God bless you.